All right, so this is the last part of the Unit 2 review videos. Um, we're going to move on to question 3. This should be pretty quick. Um, so question 3 says write a linear equation that represents the line that passes through 2, negative 3 and is parallel to the line 2x equals negative 4y plus 8. So some of you have already freaked out. Well, let's look for that key word, right? So parallel to... Um, Hopefully you automatically remember that parallel means a couple of things. It means same slope and it means different y-intercept. Right. So those are the two char uh, characteristics of parallel lines. So, uh, But this is the key. It's the same slope. And if we want the same slope, that means that um, we need to know the slope of the first line. So when we're looking for the, the line that it gives us, it's parallel to this. Well, the slope, we can't say the slope is 2 because it's the coefficient of x because we don't have um, y by itself yet. So in this one, we need to solve for y. So I want to get the y by itself. I'm going to move the 8 over first. And again, these are not like terms because one has an x and one does not. Right. So we can't combine those. So we're just going to get 2x minus 8 equals negative 4y. I'm going to divide all the terms by negative 4 because again I'm trying to get this variable the y by itself okay so I need to get rid of everything else that's attached to it or on the same side as it so these canceled and I'm left with um, 2 over negative 4 that can be simplified to negative 1 half x Negative 8 divided by negative 4 should give you positive 2. And I'm left with just a y right there. So now it's in um, slope-intercept form. We know that the coefficient of x is the slope. So we've used our initial information to get the slope, which is called m, is negative 1 half. So now we're done with that other line, right? We don't need to look at that other line anymore. Um, now we're moving on to the next piece of information. So we've we've taken care of this. Parallel to that, that means get the slope from that line. Well, now we need to see that it does what? It passes through this point, right? So we know it goes through the point 2, negative 3. So this should, again, you, you need to, there's several forms of lines, so you need to be able to pretty quickly um, determine which form is most useful to you here. Well, we have a point and we have, oh, that's not a point. We have a point and we have the slope. So hopefully you remember that there's a wonderful form called the point slope form. If you have a point, you have a slope, then you should put it into point slope, which if you've forgotten, first of all, shame on you. And second of all, this is what it looks like. Where we're looking at the y-coordinate of my point, we're subtracting that. The x-coordinate of my point, we're subtracting that from the x. And we have the slope out here in front. So let's piece this together. The point, um, the, what do we hit first? We hit the y-coordinate, which is negative 3. So I am subtracting negative 3, which is the same thing as adding 3, which is why the sign changes there. So y plus 3 equals, if the slope is the same, that means that I'm just going to take the slope from my other um, line and copy it down, right? So the slope is the same. And then x minus, well, what is my x value? It's a positive 2, so I'm just x minus 2. And that's the equation, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else with it unless I specifically ask you to, which on a test, I will, so pay attention to that. Um, I'll just quickly show you how to do that because I'm a nice person and I want you to do well on your test. So you have this line. Um, oh, that didn't work at all. You have this line, y plus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 2. If I ask you, for example, to put it into slope intercept form, so y plus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 2. Well, if I want you to put it into slope-intercept form, you would solve for the y. So we're first going to distribute, 
right? You get y plus 3 equals negative 1 half times positive x is just negative 1 half x. Negative 1 half times negative 2 is positive 1, right? Please pay attention to that sign and to that sign, or else you're going to get messed up. Is the y by itself yet? No, there's still a plus 3 here that we have to worry about. So we're going to subtract 3 and subtract 3, and we get y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. And now it's in slope-intercept form. Well, what if I wanted you to put it into standard form? Well, you're first going to put your variables on the same side, and then you're going to make sure all of the coefficients of your variables are integers, right? So you're going to add 1 half x to both sides, and you're going to get, again, these are not like terms because they have different variables, so you're going to get positive 1 half x plus y equals negative 2. Some of you are going to be tempted to stop there, but this 1 half tells us that not all of the coefficients are whole numbers. So we need to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of that denominator, right? This will cancel that, which is what that purpose is for. Um, so we're going to be left with 1 half, um, that looks like an x, no, I did that. So these cancel, right? And we're left with 1x plus 2y equals negative 4. And that would be your answer in standard form. So just a quick review as to how to change in between the forms. One other thing that I could do here, um, notice that I gave you parallel. I could quickly change the question by saying perpendicular. So the, the process would be the same. You find the slope of this line, right? You find the slope here, which is still negative 1 half. And the only thing that would be different is that the perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal, which in this case would be a positive 2 over 1, which is just 2. So you'd go through the whole process, except this now would be a positive 2, which is going to give you a different line. So that's the only other variation I can add to this question. Um, but there you go. Hopefully that helps. Other than that, I will see you guys on Monday. And uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a couple days. Bye.